Hello everyone, today I'll guide you through a crucial topic, saving and loading player data in Unity, especially for cloud storage. If you ever worked with Unity's player prefs, you know that they store data in the Windows registry, which is not a physical directory, making it difficult to sync with cloud services like Steam Cloud. But don't worry, I have an easy solution, file-based player prefs or FBPP for short. Why FBPP? Player prefs are handy for saving game settings or small bits of data, but they don't translate well into the cloud. When you run your game in the Unity editor, it's all fine, but once you try to play the built version, all those player prefs get reset. It's frustrating. FBPP is the answer, as it stores data in an easily accessible file format like the JSON or binary, making it perfect for integrating with cloud services. First I'm gonna show you the difference and then I'm gonna show you how to integrate it. As you can see, here is where the original uh, player prefs, Unity's player prefs is stored. It's in the key current user, software, your company name and here are all my keys that I saved previously. And here is where the file based player prefs is saved. It's in your username, app, app data, local low and again your company name and the game that you're developing and you can see it's saved in my save file.txt uh, that you will name that later on however you want and uh, you, it's encrypted you can't really read that and that is really really good so the person that created this is Richard Elms and you can see he wrote that this is this unity library is designed to replace the standard unity player, player prefs so I'm gonna leave that GitHub link in the description, you can check it out yourself. Uh, but now I'm gonna show you how to integrate it into the project. So there are two ways to actually do this. The, the easier one didn't work for me, but it might work for you. But I'm gonna show you first the one that worked for me. So you go to Edit, to Project Settings, and then just the Package Manager. You add the name, URL and scopes uh, like you see on the screen. After you added those, you click, click Apply, and then you go to Window and Package Manager. You go to uh, Add Package by Name, you write this, and the version is 2.02 .02 at the time that I'm making this video. And you uh, click Add, and that's about it, it's gonna, it's gonna install then. And that's it, you're ready. The other method that didn't work for me was the git URL. You just paste, you just paste this, this uh, web link and click add and it should work. But I got an error that I don't have git path uh, initialized or something like that. I'm not really sure. I don't re don't remember. After that, you're ready to integrate the code. You you have to put this uh, this. 10 lines of code uh, as the beginning on the awake method of or of any script. If you have more scenes that use player prefs, I suggest that you use it on the on the script that each of that those scenes use, so that you don't have to implement it in every scene. But it's not a problem. As you can see, you can rename the file here. You can change all these settings, all these settings, however you want. And you have to write this and that's about it then you just change every player prefs dot something to fbpp and it's gonna work and i'm gonna show you in in this basic collect wheat script that just that just works to collect wheat that that's literally it. there is nothing that, nothing very interesting about it so you can see there are three player prefs methods called here and you just rename those to FBPP and that's about it that's literally it and you're all done if you have more files than everything that you see player prefs prefs change it to FBPP and you're, it's gonna work it's gonna work like a charm and you can integrate st steam cloud on it and everything and now you can see that you can integrate the steam cloud you just write the directory where everything is saved and because I cho chose the persistent active data or whatever, it's gonna save at the same place. So I just have to do one and it's Steam Cloud is ready. It works, the player prefs saves and all the other data saves as well. 
And that's about it, you're all set. I hope you understood this, I hope you did it, I hope it was clear enough. If you have any issues, of course, you can leave me a comment and I'm gonna try to help you as much as I can. And yeah, I have nothing else to say, I want you to have an amazing rest of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!